What up, it's Brandon here and welcome back to another review. And today, we're gonna to be reviewing the solar frames. So the cool and unique part about these frames is the fact that they are made out of metal or aluminum. Uh, they're actually CNC'd out of a solid block of aluminum, making them a very responsive frame compared to plastic. They ship by default with a plastic H block that is removable and changeable, and there is a metal option as well. Now, before we go any further with this review, I just wanna let you know my background. Uh, I've been skating flat for just over a year now. Uh, the last frames I was skating was just the stock Rossi's ones that come on all their pro skates. Um, so this is the first actual frame designed to skate flat I've skated. So yeah, keep that in mind. So the first thing I want to talk about is just the packaging that the frames come in. Mainly because I think there's a massive point here that no one's really talked about. And it's the fact that all the packaging is very eco-friendly. You know, just being a cardboard box, which isn't that unique, you know, most frames would come in a box of some sort. But even the bolts themselves came in a little paper bag instead of a little plastic bag, which is much better for the environment. Uh, I did actually rip though in transit, but like, I don't mind. I really appreciate Kyle going that extra mile, just kind of think about, you know, being better for the environment. I mean, the whole frame is metal and not plastic, so that's just better for the environment anyway. Which is really cool. Other than the packaging though, if we talk about the actual frames themselves, uh, the design and look of them is so well done. It's got a minimalist look to it. Uh, Carl hasn't done anything flashy or extra, he's just really kept it simple and it works so well. Uh, when I first saw pictures of the frames, I expected it to be uh, quite a reflective, shiny silver, like the buckles on the, my Joe Akersons. Uh, but they're not, they're actually like a soft powdery kind of silver, it's uh, not as reflective, but it still looks absolutely amazing on this Joax and skate, and in my opinion, it's perfection. I'm so happy with how the skate looks. But back to the frame, the frame really screams high quality and like a top piece of skating equipment. Even when it once it's worn in, it looks so cool. Like nothing compares, it looks so good. So enough about how they look, let's talk about how they skate. So when I first put them on, the first thing I noticed was that they're so much louder than my plastic frames. The noise from just my bearing spinning seems to get projected through the frame and out my feet, making it a lot louder than a plastic frame. You can also feel every bump in the ground a lot more than a, you can in a plastic frame. That's the first things I notice is it's a very different feeling and it's a good feeling. I think other people have said it before, it's really hard to explain, but the difference between plastic and metal, not having that little bit of give that the plastic frame gives you makes this big difference into how your skating just feels. Uh, it's just a lot more responsive. You feel like you can really control your feet and you can really like dart and turn and it's so much fun. It's making me enjoy just rolling around even more than I th already thought I could. Uh, I'm always excited to just really feel how the frames feel just to roll around. It's, it's really, it's different, it's hard to explain. I do think riding these frames with the hard dead wheels that I'm riding at the moment was a mistake. Uh, I think these frames definitely will be best with a softer wheel, uh, mainly because when I change from my free skates to these skates, I really feel a difference in rolling around comfort. I haven't had the chance to try them with softer wheels, but I'm sure that'll make them even better than they already are. Now until the question on everyone's mind, how do they slide? So my first chance to skate these frames, I took them to my local park onto some angle iron ledge. Uh, and when I first put my foot on the coping, they felt so slow. It really felt like it was gonna be the grippiest thing ever. I didn't wanna wax any of the spots I was trying these out on just to really test the whole fact that you don't need to wax things. That's kind of been told to us by Joe and stuff. Because of that first impression of stepping my sole plate onto the ledge was so grippy, it's making me really hesitant to say these frames are faster than plastic. But once I did go ahead and actually try to a sole grind, the feeling of grinding is so different. It's really hard to explain, but it's almost, it definitely feels faster, that's the thing. You don't slow down during the grind, you really keep your momentum and it makes it so much easier to hold an entire ledge. And damn, the feeling is just amazing. You really feel the grind. Not only that, but the sound as well, the sound is on another level. It really brings back some more joy to grinding. It makes you just want to go out and slide everything you possibly can. And god damn, it's the best thing in the world. I'm so glad I got them just because of this. Now the skates definitely don't feel like uh, if you're on a plastic frame and you're skating a really wax ledge. It's, there's definitely like still friction there, you know, it's not like super out of control, but it does keep its momentum a lot better. I did try to slide them on every surface too. I've tried concrete ledges, I tried rails, I tried coping, I even tried sea slides, and they have done better than I've expected every single time, especially on the concrete ledges. I know a lot of people were really hesitant saying that these frames really aren't gonna slide in concrete, but I took them to this concrete spot 
that's one of the best spots in the country and they slide so well there. There's absolutely no problems at all. It feels really good on concrete too, if not the best out of every surface. It's really, really nice sounding, really nice feeling. Uh, when I tried test sliding these, it works amazing too, but it's almost harder because there's no frame to slide on. You kind of, you have to use your wheels a lot more to slow down the slide so you don't slip out but it's definitely doable and it's just something you'd have to get used to. I think the main reason for this sliding fine on all these obstacles is because most of the time your weight is more on your sole plate than your frame. The only time these frames don't slide as good is on top sides. They definitely are the slowest and they're definitely slower than plastic, but it's definitely not impossible. You can still do it. Uh, you probably just actually need a wax for top sides. I think Lino touched on a point as well. The fact that the frame isn't thick means you really have to land directly in the top side as well. So. Uh, if you're scared of top sides, these probably aren't a good frame for you and they're really not going to add to your confidence in top sides, but it's still doable and yeah, it's just a little bit more difficult, but it's not impossible. Nothing's impossible in these frames. Now away from the metal part, if we talk about the H block, uh, the H block is the fastest piece of plastic I've ever slid on. Uh, the first time I'd done a front side on these, it was amazing. It really feels like, you know, when you're skating an absolutely caked and waxed ledge on a hot summer day. There's just literally no friction. You're just flying. It's the best feeling ever. It's so fun to do front sides and royales in these frames. And also just the groove design itself, it works really well. Uh, having the shallow groove really combats wheel bite. I've had literally zero wheel bite issues yet. The H block just works super well. To the point where even if you miss the center of the H block, you can grind on the little plastic bits on the edges. Uh, you don't even get wheel bite then. That is the one issue I have with the H block. It is kind of hard to stay in that middle groove because it's so shallow, you can end up going on the edges. But I think you can combat that by actually like wearing your own groove into these frames and then it should be fine. So I guess we'll see in the future. But yeah, overall, I'm so impressed with every aspect of how these frames grind and, and slide. They just really outperform everything I thought. Just to quickly touch on to the point that Sol is selling about you giving you that little bit of extra sole plate. I want to say I do feel that tiny bit of extra sole plate. I feel like I can really get the grinds even more under my foot. I still think that's probably just a mental thing. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a huge selling point, but I do think it's cool nonetheless. The frames just overall feel really high quality and really responsive and really sturdy and good. A really great product and I'm so freaking impressed by them. Just to touch on the hardware of the frame as well, I can tell it's all been really thought out. Uh, first off, like all metal free skate frames, the, you only need one Allen key because it screws directly into the frame, which is a huge advantage. And I wish all frames could be like this. Uh, but not only that, the hole where you put the Allen key in is extra deep, uh, meaning that it's almost impossible to round your Allen key. You can really put it right in there. There's so much contact with it that you're never gonna round it. And even on top of that, uh, you know, one of the most annoying parts about changing your wheels is uh, trying to get the bolt through your bearing spacer. Well, they've thought about that in these. Uh, they've actually added a little rounded bit before the thread that um, really helps with lining that bearing spacer up. It can push it into place. Uh, most bolts will just be like flat and it makes it kind of just luck and tedious, really tedious to line up. So it's really smart. Um, it really adds that overall top tier, high quality feeling to the skate. Now there is one thing though that does consume me about the frame. This is probably just my frame in particular. I noticed just recently within like the last week uh, when I really put my weight down on my right foot in a Royale, uh, the frame makes a solid clicking sound and you can really feel it since it's metal straight on the plastic. You know? uh, at first I was worried that it's my M12 not being able to handle the stiffness of the metal frame uh, but I've narrowed it down to actually being the H block on the solar frame. It's slightly moving within the frame is really weird. I can recreate it just by pushing on the frame. It makes like a really solid click. See that? And it doesn't feel good at all. Uh, I've tried tightening it and it's still there. But I mean, now that I know it's not something crucial, it's just that moving around, I think <laughs> uh, it should be fine. And I've also got the other H box coming. I'm sure a metal one will be better because there'll be no room for wiggle in there. So fingers crossed. But yeah, just to summarize what I've said so far, let's break it down into pros and cons. So the pros of skating the solars is, first off, the overall responsiveness is unmatched compared to plastic. It makes rolling around so much more fun. You no longer need to wax up every spot you skate, although it could help still. They have by far the best 
hardware out of all the frames on the market and compared to plastic the frames by far sound the best for grinding metal on metal is how it should be you get that tiny little bit extra sole the frames are super long lasting i'm sure they'll last you your whole lifetime uh, you're probably only need to change the h block which you can do finally they look so dope they match the m12 so well and they look so good on almost every skate i've seen them on now just quickly talk about the cons uh, first off they're super expensive you can definitely get a ready to roll frame for a similar price. On ledge, these frames are pretty slow on top sides, but you can still do them, but they're definitely slower than plastic. Also, top sides are just harder to do due to the thinner wall. You have to really land in your top sides. The frames are really loud for just rolling around, but that could be just me and my bearings. You'll need to ride a softer wheel, and most plastic frames, it won't matter. And you may get this weird click with the H block, like I've got, but it could just be me. Probably it's just me. So just in my opinion, I think the pros far outweigh the cons on this frame. I absolutely love this product and I definitely have no urges to go back and try plastic at this stage. I definitely think this frame is made for the typical park skater, but it's not impossible to skate street in it. You'll be totally fine skating street in these frames, so I wouldn't just avoid it because you're a street skater. And to finish off this review, I have to say that I 100% recommend these frames. They're not going to limit your skating in any way, they're only going to make you enjoy skating more. I think how long they're going to last will make up for how expensive they are, uh, but I guess I won't know for sure until I've skated them for a decent amount of time. And that's it for my solar frame review. I do actually have the new improved metal H block in the mail coming now, so if you want to see me skating that, be sure to subscribe. I'll also be doing a follow-up review on the frame, talking about how they've worn in over time and uh, whether there's anything else I've found out about them. If you want to see my raw first impressions of these frames, check the beer out, they'll be in that corner right there. Also stay tuned, because for Lace's six months anniversary, we might be doing something cool. So be sure to follow Lace on Instagram so you don't miss that. But anyway, thanks so much for everything guys. Huge shout out to my patrons, Adam, Kevin, Deb, Dennis, Fabian, Flowey, Mark, Matt, Matt, Mike and Tage, and the rest of my patrons, because without them I would not have been able to get these frames. And yeah, I'll see everyone. Later, hopefully my knees won't hurt so I can go skate. Peace out. <laughs>